Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome to Resurrect Autos HQ. Guys, today we're gonna to be working on the Fiesta Auto at the back there, you can just see it. Just see it over the ST. Yes, the ST is back and it's absolutely spot on that ST, such a great job. The guy's done an absolute perfect job on that. So, but that's for another day guys, that's not today's video. So to look forward to, definitely. So that's coming up um, in a couple of days. So yeah, we'll just jump into it. Let's just uh, crack on with that auto and uh, the blue one. And then, um, yeah, let's just see how far we get with it. Hopefully, you know, really far. Um, I do quite a bit, you know, during the day. Um, as you know, I do push myself and I do quite a bit in one day. So let's see how far we get. Uh, you never know. Um, but before we do, guys, just a massive thank you to all the support again uh, on the last previous videos, uh, all the comments and stuff like that. Don't forget, if you haven't already, um, like, share and subscribe. Um, if you just hit that subscribe button in the corner, uh, I, would, you know, I really appreciate it, uh, all the support. So let's do this. So yes guys, we're gonna be working on this Fiesta Auto today. So on the last video, we left it and uh, the battery was dead and I had to charge it, uh, which is completely charged now, um, which is good. So I'll show you that. There we go. That tapping that you can hear, is that high pressure pump, but apparently they all do it. And it's just quiet, as it, as it gets warmer, it quietens down or something. So um, I had a, there's a guy at the front and he's got like a um, 2018 uh, Fiesta and he does exactly the same thing. So um, it's just the, the, yeah, the high pressure full pump. But I'm not even touching that pump, look. So as you see, it quietens down. So yeah, so there we go. All running nice. Yeah, so um, we can crack on guys. Let's just um, move along, get it all done. I think what we're gonna do first is gonna get this windscreen in. Let's set this windscreen in place and then we can move on and then we can do, um, yeah, we can carry on with the other bits and pieces. So I'll set you up, let's do that and let's crack on. Let's do this. So there we go, that's all prepped. You just see me do that. Just get off all the old stuff. I've actually put some primer around as well. So that's just obviously going off. The bottom trim has been put on, that's ready to receive the um, scuttle panel. Uh, so yeah, <coughs> also done the actual uh, frame of the bodywork. So that's all been primed and that's all ready. Got me tape ready for the top so that I can tape it up when it's all done. So. 
I'll set you up guys, you've seen me do this uh, many, many times, but I'll show you again. And this time, I'm gonna be, do a little bit different. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna start from this bottom corner, this bottom middle, sorry, not corner, bottom middle here. And I'm gonna go round to that corner and then up and then round and then back again. And there's gonna be one continuous, uh, apply the adhesive, one continuous uh, thing. There's no breaks in it, apart from this bottom one here, which is where, you know, obviously the, it's gonna be under, the water comes down here. So there's no way it's ever gonna leak because it's gonna be one continuous thing. So I'll show you that. Um, I'm always sort of tweaking things. I'm always changing slightly little things just to make myself better, make things better, make things. And I think that's going to be, um, you know, the best way to do it. Going forward, I'll probably do that on all of them now. Start from the bottom, go around one continuous. But I'll have to get inside the car, sit on the dash and do it because there's no way you can get to it from the outside. So, yeah, but I've obviously got the, um, it's in water at the moment, um, in some warm, warm water. This is the stuff that I'm going to be using from now on as well because it's an absolute um, blinding bit of uh, <laughs> adhesive. Uh, it's called uh, polyethylene adhesive for bonding the car windshield. So there we go. That's what I'll be using. I put two in there because I know for a fact that on a Fiat 500 or KA you can get you can get it done in one tube, but because of the Fiesta's a little bit slightly bigger screen. Uh, it might take two, but we shall see. So, yeah, I'll set you up, guys, and um, let's do this.
Okay guys, there you go. That looks really decent now. Looks it just does, does need a clean. It's filthy. There's fingerprints all over it. So I just need to give it an outside a good clean. But everything lines up, everything's back in place. Apart from the scuttle panel, I've got to put that back on scuttle panel and window wipers. Uh, we'll do that next. <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to quickly show you what I was doing with the brakes. So basically, um, what I've decided to do, and I think it's best practice really with these salvage cars, is to is to take them apart. So take the caliper off, take the pads out, uh, give this a, a, a clean up. As long as they, they don't need replacing, then they just need a clean. Um, I think it's just good practice to sort of, you know, free up the brakes because, you know, it's been in an accident. You don't know, you know, someone's pushed hard on the brake pedal. Uh, it can seize the brake pads. It can... You know, it can just, yeah, all muck up and stuff. So, and then once you've, it's, uh, you know, solid, it might not have been driven anywhere or sort of, uh, do you know what I mean, moved about. So you just don't know. So so from now on, this is what I'm going to do. So just take off the pads, take off the calipers, give it a good clean, give the discs a clean, uh, get them spinning, get them moving. You know, I don't think you, until you get it out on the road and start using the brakes and start getting the pads uh, working as they should, then it's never, you know, it's, there's always going to be a little bit sticky, a little bit sort of, you know, especially this is a, uh, automatic as well, so it's not helping, I don't think. Um, anyway, there we go. Just thought I'd quickly show you. Obviously, the windscreen's done. You've seen that, so that's uh, that's all good. So yeah, I'm going to put the wheels back on. Um, I haven't. I'm not going to put the mud guards back on yet because there's a few clips that are broke um, in here. Them two there, that one there, and I think there's one down here that's broke the clip. So I'm just waiting for the clips to come through the post. Uh, I've got a load of uh, coming through from uh, Flea Bay. So I'm just waiting for those to come through. Uh, in the meantime, we'll put the tyres on, um, you know, which are, which are in really good good condition. The tr there's, there's massive amount of treads on them. Um, so, so yeah, so really good condition. Uh, as you can see, I've cleaned the inside of the alloy wheels. You know, guys, that I like to clean these before I put them back. So, yeah, what I'll do is I'll do the same on the, on the back. But for now, I've just done the fronts. We'll put the wheels back on, and then we'll drop the car down. We'll put the scuttle panel on, get the win window wipers back on, and, um, yeah, really uh, really get this car a little bit closer. Yeah, every every step. So there we go. I'll set you up, and let's, um, let's get the wheels on. Let's, let's get it dropped down the floor. So there we go. It's back on its four wheels. It moves backs and forwards. It's a really nice one, this one. Titanium model. Uh, it's even got like little little lights, little, I think they call them puddle lights today. Obviously it's got um, electric folding mirrors, but uh, I've got to just got to sort that cap out, close it up a bit better. Um, but yeah, it's got these, um, so when you unlock it, So it's got little puddle lights coming down. So, yeah. It's the first one I've seen on a, on a Fiesta. So, yeah, there you go. It's got a nice little, uh, nice little features, this one. LED lights, daytime running lights. So they're, they're pretty cool. Uh, the Fiesta ST's got them as well, but um, 
yeah, looks pretty cool in this, in this titanium model. So, there we go, guys. <laughs> Again, a lot done today, um, but I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna go home, have some dinner, chill out <laughs> until tomorrow when we start all over again. Um, but yeah, nah, it's, um, it's coming It's coming up. It, like, it locks itself, you don't open the door, look. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but it's, it's coming along really nice now, this one. Um, it's really getting there. I'm gonna do the same sort of stuff inside, um, you know, my usual clean. Take the seats out underneath, give it a clean. Um, yeah, right under, take these, we'll take your seats out, give it a good, good, good clean up. Right around Hoover, get the machine on it as well. Carpet cleaner, you know, we'll give, we'll give inside a good old clean. Still got to go for the MOT, this car. So that, that's still got to go in. Um, it's actually got um, reversing uh, reversing sensors on this as well. Because of being a titanium. Uh, and uh, yeah, give the carpet a good clean up, guys, before, we, before it goes. But uh, there we go. So, that is gonna be the end of today's video. Guys, if you, if you do, um, you know, like the video, don't forget to drop me a comment, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and uh, that all helps towards the algorithm, the YouTube thing, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, I really do appreciate it. I do appreciate you guys following me uh, step by step uh, on my journey. Um, I am looking at another car next week, which if I get it, it's gonna be a good one. It is gonna be a good one. It's a car that I've not had before, and um, it's a right little uh, hot hatch pocket rocket uh, little car. So, yeah, fingers crossed that we win that car for the right money. Um, again, if it goes up too high, then it's no point. Uh, there's no, um, there's no real, uh, you know, point getting a buying a car. If it's too much. Uh, so there you go. But fingers crossed on that one. Righto, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you on the next one.